Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix and I'm going to be doing a um, tutorial on how to make um, this. So um, yes, this is a part of my um, animatronic series and what is going to um, so we're going to be taking this eye and we are going to make it into an eye practically exactly like this. Now um, there's a way um, you can do th things like this. Um, the basic way is you're, once you've already textured one, I believe you can just... Yeah, okay, but the UVs will be all messed up. So, you want to go into this, UV editing, and then you check out, at, oh, and it's in render mode, and it will be very slow. So, we're going to take this multi, um, this weird eye, the one that looks like... A complete mess. So we take this, go into texture paint, and then we say add simple UV. Then you'll see it has a bunch of stuff here that you will not understand. Don't worry, it shouldn't confuse you or scare you in any type of way. So um, we're just going to select about everything. It gives you the full UV here. And then what you want to do is open. And then the eye, I'm just going to use um the same one i used earlier which is in this folder right, eyes okay so now i have um this same eye and i can tell and you can tell which one is the correct um is the front here by looking for this little seam here this little cutoff or you can look in the middle because as you can see this thing just joins up here it's kind of just a singular face so, what you can simply do is scale everything down, G, move it to the white sort of side, and then that one that you were going to use for, um, let me just get some more space. So, the one you were going to use, um, to actually, like, unwrap your entire eye, you can maybe, no, wait, that's part of that, so, yeah, okay. So, um... I'm just going to quickly select these ones for starters so that I don't have to select any others. So then you just select B, um, click B, um, select everything and G, and then you scale it up to fit the entire eye. Make sure this part in the middle is suiting um, with the black part of the eye. So let's just perfect this. Okay, but there's no... Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just try something here. Okay, yeah, there you go. So, G... Yeah, okay, there you go. So, you practically just have this eye, and then also, you want to make sure that um, you select all these and scale them down to the point where they almost don't exist. And then just put him in the white section so you get that, like, white... Alright, guys, so that's pretty much a wrap. Um, let me just... Yeah, okay, so now you have roughly about the same thing. You can maybe rotate it so that it has a bit of a difference. And then what you can also do is tweak um, these. I added some of um, trans... Yeah, translucent... Lucent... I don't know how to pronounce it. And then you can add mirror, reflectivity. Um, can, I'm just going to pull that up. Yeah, so um, you can mess around with all these other things. Alright guys, my recording froze for some mysterious reason. But anyway, so... Um, like I was saying, you can mess around with all these other fancy settings and stuff. And... Yeah. And then you get that weird monkey sort of thing. Okay, so, yeah, um, guys, thank you so much for watching this um, eye tutorial. You can simply add it to your animatronic. I'll do that now for that fact. Alright, guys, so this is around what you should have at um, the end. Um, he looks pretty cute, in my personal opinion. And, yeah, so, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And if you want to see a withered or ignited 
phantom or any other animatronic you can even maybe come up with one um please drop a like and yeah i'll see you in the next video